Hey guys, Alan Kirby here. Just a dumbass fucking night. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry guys. I cut my finger. I skinned the fucking knuckle. There's like a big chunk of knuckle meat hanging out. It's pretty gross. Cut on top of the dumpster. I went and cleaned it immediately. Because tetanus is like one of my biggest, biggest fears in life. Tetanus and spiders. I don't like them. It used to be when I was a kid, I was like terrified of uh, aliens when I watched that, uh, that Fire in the Sky movie. Oh, man. That movie creeped me the fuck out. Sorry, just had to get uh, take a break for a second to get a bunch of ticks off the cat. It had like four ticks on it. So I had to pull them off and burn them. I burned it down. It was just a slow night. It was really busy this morning, but for the most part, it was pretty busy last night, too. Uh, and then I came in, I guess because of the fucking storm. Uh, like, all the trash cans were in different parts of the parking lot. So I had to go, like, corral the fucking trash cans. I corralled the cans. Oh, and uh, shopping cart shaft was back. You guys know shopping cart shaft. My assistant manager uh, called the police on him and got him banned. For just for being weird. Actually, me and my assistant manager have been getting along really well lately. It's kind of scary. Like, I've actually enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. Because usually we're like, you know, kind of argumentative with, argumentative with each other. I think I'm saying that right, yeah. Argumentative with each other, but <sighs> I stuttered the first time. But yeah, but lately it's just we've been getting along. I had to kick crackheads out of the dining room left and freaking right uh, last night. Like they just, something about the rain, it just brings them in. They all want cold water and cigarettes. And I seen a customer give one guy two dollars. I'm like, don't fucking give them money. They're out here all the time begging for fucking money. Get a goddamn job so you can be miserable like me. Because I'm fucking miserable. I'm just glad the cat's still home because I, I worried all night about that cat. I always worry all night about that cat. Just like, I hope she's okay. I hope she's not dead somewhere. I really want to bring her in, but we we got to take her to the vet. And finding time for us to do that with her working days and me working nights and sleeping during the day, it's like hard to get anything done. It's a crazy weird life. But we make it work, but it's just hard to like plan things and get things done. Like God forbid we want to go on a freaking vacation because we would never be able to go on vacation just because us planning anything, movie night, anything is just impossible. It's already humid out, so the heat wave continues. I think Saturday it's supposed to be like 110 degrees. That is freaking ridiculous. So I'm definitely going to have to come up with some kind of plan for this cat because I can't I can't have the cat having a heat stroke. But I'm like this close to getting her in, hopefully. Getting everything taken care of. So I don't have to worry anymore. I'm like a worried parent. But, uh, yeah, it was just a busy night and busy morning, as always. Got some BK in my belly. I ate late this morning. I only had a four pack of cinnamonies. Cause I fucking, oh, I love cinnamonies. They're so damn good. They undercooked them this time, so they kind of taste like dough-like, which 
The texture I didn't really like, but the taste was like really good that way. Well, I don't know, I'm just getting home, so I'm just relaxing right now. Just smoke some medicine, so right now I'm just chilling. But I'm about to get off here, so stay out of this heat today because it's going to be a freaking killer. Uh, hopefully you guys have a good freaking Thursday. I'm just going to get some rest. I don't know if I'm going to vlog later. I don't know what I'm doing today. So if not, have a good uh, Thursday, guys. And uh, I'll talk to you at some point. For now, I'm Curb. And I'm out.